welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I have just mixed my resin, so I need to move on. I've leveled my board, and I have chosen my uh, four colours I'm going to work with today, which is Midnight Black. Uh, they are the Colour Cottage, Silver Mist, Bluebird Blue, and Heather Glen. And I'm working on one of my very earlier pieces of resin, and as though I love this piece, lots of learns, it's not really a great piece of art. So I'm going to use this board again and recycle and I'm very excited that my uh, larger silicone cups came so I've just mixed 200 mils of resin uh, today I am using masterclass and I'm just going to let that um, come off my I'm actually put it on here give this a wipe and set this to one side and then start mixing my colors no preset idea of what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to put them all in a cup, let the resin tell me what it wants to do and work with it. So I'm working on a couple of intricate uh, specific images behind the scenes. So it's nice just to let it go and just be creative. And I just feel the need to be in the studio. I, personal disclosure, I thought I had done with some hospital visits. I wanted to find out that I continue with the investigations. Uh, so nothing's conclusive, so feeling a little bit sort of bummed about it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, so the studio will fix that. So I am putting on my mask, because I'm going to be working with powders. And I am firstly going to make sure I do have a little bit of clear on the board. No more than that. I may keep some back four parts. And then I am going to evenly distribute... The remaining resin here. We're slightly more black for the edges. And I've got a little board handy in case I do have any overspills. And what's going to be great is I can leave the re leftover resin in this cup and just peel it out the next day. No more need to alcohol wipe. So just give my hands a clean off. So I'm going to open up my pigments and I really don't want to get my jars all sticky. And I do get in a little bit of a mess. Right, so I am using my plastic tongue depressors, which is great because I can use them over and over. So everything I'm doing is better for the environment. Why have I got... Oh yeah, that's right, I wanted black. That's going to be a really dumb thing I said then. Why have I got black? I thought I wanted grey. Well, of course you wanted black. You also wanted grey, Sharon. Let your brain kick in. On a plus, I've just been to the uh, hobby craft in uh, the UK and all their art supplies were 20% off. So I stocked up on all the colours I know that I always use for my oceans and a few other little pieces. Kept it quite restrained, really. Because uh, at the end of the day, you only have so much money you can spend. Well, so much money you should spend. <laughs> and uh, But at least I've managed to stock up on uh, some essentials. And it was nice. Anybody that loves art will know just walking around some kind of craft shop or hobby shop and just seeing what's out there and what you potentially can use. It's good for the soul. Once these are mixed in, I can take my mask off. Alright, so I fold it in and then all I'm doing is looking, is it mixed in properly and have I got the density of colour that I want. Mica powders do mix in really well normally with your resin so it doesn't take long. So this is what the Midnight Black looks like. It's got a beautiful, like uh, if you ever used to play marbles and you'd get the stainless steel balls. Beautiful. Now I'm mixing in my silver mist. That's what my silver mist looks like. Beautiful. Very metallic. Bluebird blue. Let's see if I've got enough colour pigments in there. Stunning. Anyway, you probably all fast forward through this part anyway. <laughs> I've been contemplating a lot if uh, the amount of effort I put into my videos, the editing, the making and the time, 
is, I don't know how you feel, I don't know if it's because I'm bummed out by the hospital, but sometimes to know that all that effort, all that sharing, and to know that some people just skip right through because they just want to get to the ingredients, not everybody, and I don't mean to sound really negative, it's more just the amount of effort you're putting in versus what you're getting back out. Um, just contemplating whether I should, do people find any value in me talking while I'm doing this? So people just want to see the end result and what I've done. What's the best? I don't know. <laughs> but any feedback or any anything you want to share on that? Muchly appreciated. So I'm going to spread this out with my hands and I'm going to take that to one side now because I know that we're done with that. And I can just peel that out tomorrow, which is good. So this is where the fun is. I'm just going to mix it in with my hands. And I'm actually going to put some on this board because I have a feeling that there is going to be some left over. Hot tip for resin. Always have a spare board ready for any overspills because sometimes you can use the calculators and it says that I need 150ml but in my cups it's a lot easier if I just mix the 200ml. Let's see, but I do have edges to do on this. I'm going to put some fresh around the edges. Help it fall over if it needs to. They, it was already a blackboard and then I did use it. As I said, one of my first pieces while I was practicing. And that does feature in one of my videos. Where it's, I think it's Blast From The Past. And on this one, I remember working on the winter theme. But I, uh, the colours diluted a lot. So lots of good learns. And I do love that you can see this fish poking out. Well, that's what I see. But at the same time, uh, the overall composition is not great. So this did have resi blast and although I've cleaned it down and sanded it, there's holes coming so I'm having to tell my resin where it needs to go multiple times. But let's heat over it and then let's see. Alright so taking my gloves off and I'm going to heat this bad boy up. Alrighty, let's do a mixed cup and I'm going to think about what do I want to come out first. So I think I would like my down the side and silver down the side a little bit more. Reverse it a little bit. And now go blue. Leaving a little bit left in my cup to do my embellishing. Purple. bit of that silver. Alright, so this is a big cup and I am going to just tip it in the middle like that and then I'm just going to add a little of my black for around the edges. I'm going to 
to do is just put a little bit of this silver around as well, but I do want to keep some for embellishment. All right, let's see if the resin gods have been kind. Just letting it settle down. Just getting some of these beautiful colours out. Okay, some beautiful effects happening. Before I do that though, I've got to start messing with my effects, I've got to see what is happening with these gaps over this way. Purple and silver just exquisite. And I decided to just leave it. I'll swirl it, but I think it needs the um, the fork coming through it um, again anyway, because the it's too warm. So all the color has moved through it. Don't breathe in, don't breathe in. I think I feel like I want to do just one swirl there. That so I'm sticking it up to my gloves up very early. Coming to 
too predictable, Sharon. I've just finished working on this piece and I'm still trying to work out what it is or what it reminds me of but all it is for me is these colours just work beautifully together texture glitter and I didn't want to do swirls again but I have created a flower there so this could be up to anybody's interpretation it's super wet it's drying. I'm going to see where it dries like and see how I feel and see whether that's it for this piece. But it's been fun working with these colours. The only downside is working on a board that's already been used before that has resin blast off it on it. The importance of not just sanding it and preparing it but scrubbing it all off because I think that's what gave it uh, a little bit of hard work to make it cover the areas. But I'd love to know what you feel and think when you look at this piece. These beautiful colours are just delightful together. So I couldn't resist, got my little stick in there and I worked on this area here. So now I feel like it's some kind of plant life, maybe from another planet. I feel it all now that these are leaves and vines and this is the flower. So. Um, I was crossing my fingers just to make sure I wasn't going to ruin it because it's gone quite ready for tacky but it's just really brought out those colours and those effects even more in my opinion but then again I'm the artist it's my work and I've got to like it and I just like the way it's like a creeping vine going through there okay so this is cured enough for me to work on and I just love this colour scheme so I am going to come in and embellish I've got my lights here so I'm hoping that um, let me just angle them so they're not directly on there it's not going to stop you seeing some of the texture and colours and foils looks and effects so what I am thinking is I'm going to come in definitely going to embellish but I'm probably thinking of maybe this area here bringing it more to the foreground very subtle with silver so we'll be using the mixation and some silver mirror and work my little magic on it so I'll put you up hopefully the angle you will be able to see it okay god I love these colors
So I've just finished work and I couldn't wait to show you how this piece has dried. So going to the bottom left, sorry about the light reflection, see that little bit of embellishment here. And as we go up here with a fan and that silver, blue and purple, let's get some more of that embellishment there. It's just a die for us, so we're coming down the centre. See that texture? It's just stunning that part there. And to the left, the feature there, as we go to that beautiful flower. And that embellishment there. And then up to the top corner and a bit of embellishment. So zoom out for you. Um, I absolutely love this piece. Let me see if I can angle it for you. So you get to see different, don't know if that's adding any value. Oh, look at that there. And that iridescent glitter there. And you can still see that little bit of glitter that's coming through in iridescent there. Um, yeah. I just love this. It's very elegant. It reminds me definitely of either Underwater World, um, where you imagine this different life that's happening down there in the colours and it's just swaying in the current, or a different planet. There's potential to have beauty like this. Anyway, I'm waffling so I'm going to shut up. If you like my work, thumbs up, subscribe and share and comments are always welcome if you want to buy this piece or have a custom made piece make contact with myself all the information is in the link below all the products are also there to help you but have the most amazing day and remember to be creative and let the shine and bling come into your art probably all feel sick from that now but have the most amazing day and I'll see you on the next video